Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over the Bitcoin support that we have seen on this chart and the bounce that has endured from this, very nice indeed. Uh, so I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video, I'll also explain how I'm trading this along with also today the altcoins have done very well so it's a, a nice green day across the board so this is very nice to be trading. Uh, so I hope that you enjoy this one and let's start off with the support that we are seeing coming in here on Bitcoin. Any surprise to you that it's coming off of our monthly level? And this is like if, if you have been short from, uh, you know, 10K, 9K, 8K, you know, wherever you've been short from, this is naturally going to be a take profit level. Even if you're expecting lower prices, you'd be a little bit naive not to be locking in some percentage profits at monthly support. Okay, it's a really critical level. So there's not really too much of a surprise that we have bounced here. OK, obviously, the midterm direction to short term day trading is, is different. OK, but here we can see uh, a wick down onto the monthly level. But what was so perfect about this? You also got the swing failure pattern. OK, this is something you can't predict before, but you can definitely react from this. OK, you can see wick down onto the monthly back above, closing back above swing failure pattern. And then, you know, well, I was waking up this morning to this and seeing, well, that's a, a pretty nice opportunity. And this is where for me. I naturally, and you know, this is uh, something that's very hard to teach, but you get sort of a connection with when you have like, uh, you know, experience trading the market for many years, uh, you kind of get intuition and like gut feelings for plays and trades. And um, this is where I woke up this morning and I just felt that today would be a green day. And I really felt that we would get a relief rally coming up in here. And we might say, you might say, well, Daniel, it's all very well in saying this now, but I did actually make this very clear to the group that I believe today would be a green day, not adding to shorts. It was kind of a level that, we, you know, we've seen this reaction coming off of the monthly. I'll also show you the EMA that we're bouncing off of as well. But uh, I just wanted to show you that this isn't me just randomly saying it now. I made it very clear to the group this morning. It was not a good time to be entering shorts. Um, or if you did want a short, then I would say eight. 8,150, not before, and this was obviously before the pumps happened today. Uh, and you can see where we have bounced off of. So if you did short 8,150, this in itself is about a 0.7% move, 0.8% move. So this is for like scope trading. You know, these are gains that add up, add up, add up, add up, absolutely. But I would not get too greedy on this until we see like a, a trend change on, on a lower term time frame. Okay, so if you shorted 10, 10,850, being that got 6,5 of this going in pocket, yeah, very well, you're in short, you're in profits right now, but I would actually be locking it in. OK, uh, and also on my trading updates that I do every day, I also said it would be a well, I believed it would be a green day today. I'm not a god just because I say it's going to be a green day doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen. But uh, very nice that so far it's happening. So <laughs> anyway, uh, moving on, what we can see is, yeah, clearly we're seeing resistance coming in so far only in the form of a wick. But nevertheless, resistance coming in from that 6.5 to our daily level, which is uh, 8,150 to 8,207. OK, so that's sort of our resistance point on the very short term. OK. Uh, support. Uh, well, I want to zoom out very slightly here. I actually know I'd really like to show you another uh, another factor of confluence that what we're bouncing from here. And this is going to be our weekly 55 exponential moving average. Look at this coming in absolutely perfectly. And these are sort of the levels that I give everybody in the group. But, um, you know, we can see here. So we had our monthly level 55 exponential moving average just coming in very, very perfectly. Swing failure pattern. You know, these are confluences that are coming together. OK, giving you these sort of reasons, uh, reasons to be expecting some form of a bounce. And who's going to shy away from a 5% bounce in a day? That is extreme, extreme sort of really nice bounces, <laughs> to be honest. Like if you're not happy with 5% moves, then like, this is not the channel for you. This is absolutely amazing. 5% is really, really, really big moves. Um, so, yeah, what I wanted to then just highlight on the sort of medium term. I think we can all safely agree that there's a real big SR level coming in at around to 8,300. So 8,300, 8,250 is sort of a, a bigger resistance level. Obviously, right now we're being held down by this golden pocket. But if we manage to get through it, I'll be looking up for about 8,350. Uh, sorry, 8,250, 8, 8,300, that sort of level more or less. OK, and then support for me is coming in, I'd say, here at seven nine uh, about 7,950. OK, you can see there's a clear you know, area of support resistance coming in around that level. Um, so, yeah, those are those are the sort of levels that I'm in right now. Obviously, for the midterm, still in a short, OK, being taking profits on the way down, but still have that sort of seven, four sort of region as a target on the short term. Yes, absolutely. Today, one would expect to be a green day and it looks like it's probably going to end up like this. But, uh, you know, one should be taking profits. I would um, not necessarily advise. I'm not going to be telling you what to do, but this is just what I would be doing. OK, and then you can take that for how you would like. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, right now. Obviously, you, this is where you like, you know, basically can like use Litecoin as a leading indicator, let's say. So obviously, Bitcoin bounced off this monthly level. A Litecoin was actually, you know, very much 
undecided okay it was it was kind of going down in a downwards channel but in the end uh this was actually f quite funny because in the stream someone pointed this out to me last night that it was inside of this symmetrical triangle and you can actually see in the end, okay, going into the early hours while I was actually asleep, it actually come down onto the monthly, sort of back tested it here, which coincided with breaking outside of this uh, symmetrical triangle, okay? So you could call this, a, you know, it's going to look better on a lower term time frame, but a break above back test of monthly and then move up, okay? So if you are sort of using Litecoin as a leading indicator as such, then you can see that that's had a strong move or, you know, st strong move outside, breaking outside, and then with the same like Bitcoin also breaking up here. So it's, it's nice to see the moving in... in in conjunction with each other, I would say, as a trader, you know, if you can get these little heads up clues, uh, it all comes together very, very nice, basically. Uh, so yeah, I think that's everything that I wanted to cover in this video. Just show you those reasons why we're bouncing. Okay, you know, not necessarily this is this means that we're going to 13k <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination, but it just means that these are the sort of days when you one has to be looking for some sort of relief rally. You have to imagine, you know, this has just been moving down and down and down. So it could be another lower high, yeah, absolutely. But um, you know, one has to envision there's going to be green days. It's not just something that goes straight down and down and down and down. So yeah, that's very nice indeed. Um, and yeah, it's, I, I must like really stress it. It's very hard to teach that, but you know, it, it definitely comes with like time and experience while trading. You just get like really big connections with the market when you caught some sort of see this. I mean, I guess you don't really need that much experience to see swing failure pattern monthly, but then it's it's all well and good. You know, you get so many people, people are, across all platforms like this is saying what they do but then do they have the conviction to actually follow through with their money and put money on the line you know tr trading and charting are two totally different things you know i actually make money through trading whereas some people cannot but they can do the charting but they then have no execution with their trades and that's like one thing that you have to like learn as a trader to sort of come to grips with trusting your technical analysis and then actually putting money on the, you know, putting money on the line. And it's all this, you know, it's all well and good saying something, predicting something, but then do you actually follow through with what you do? Um, I don't know because I don't know you, but <laughs> I know people that struggle with putting money on the line, even though they've done the TA and that sort of does come with time and trusting and like going through, seeing that you're actually profitable and consistent. Um, so yeah, it's all, it's uh, basically very nice. And um, yeah, that's what I wanted to end with. Um, so yeah, hope that you have enjoyed this video. I hope it's given you some insights of how I've traded this, how I am trading this, and uh, you know what the those sort of next levels that I'll be looking for, specifically that eight uh, eight two fifty, okay, down to uh, seven nine fifty for uh, for support. And then we have got a little range going in here uh, where one could possibly look at Litecoin. Is that going to follow through, get a retest, and come up, or is it just going to essentially be a fake out of that triangle? I think that's a really good leading indicator. Um, you know, I've actually been trading altcoins quite a bit today, so it's pretty nice. Um, so yeah. Thank you, everybody, for hopefully enjoying this video. <laughs> I'll catch you in the next one. Hope that you have enjoyed, and I'll, uh, yeah, have a great day. Thank you so much. Cheers. Good night. Bye.